Tony D and Little Joan with your Piney Podcast, all things South Jersey. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Speaking of Piney stuff, don't forget the Pineys, books 1 through 11, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. Welcome, Pineys. We're going to get into all the headlines today. I'm, I'm getting stuff done. I'm getting stuff done early today. So I got an early thing done. Uh... Because I'm not doing any signings this weekend. I had the weekend off. My next signing, though, is next weekend at Level Up Entertainment from 10 to 5 at the mall there and uh, in Maze Landing. And then uh, uh, LBI Book Swap on Sunday, the 7th at 2. So check out that. All right. Let's get into what's going on in South Jersey. As always, I start with some of the crime. Not a lot of it. It's too depressing, but. Some of it. New Jersey pastor, politician is gunned down in a community reels. Well, that's terrible. Uh, I didn't even know this guy. Nicole Taliano used to play games on her phones in the mayor's office of Sayreville Borough Hall. While her mother tended the tedious and often acrimonious task of serving in local government. The 11-year-old didn't mind sharing her mother, Councilwoman Enos Duomfar, with residents of Central Jersey Town. There is no Central Jersey. Uh, those she pastored. Oh, so it was a female pastor. Oh, I know this woman. Okay, she was the city council. She was also a mayor, I guess? Hmm. They still haven't solved this woman's death. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, New Jersey corruption probe focuses on Camden? Ties to South Jersey power broker? Sources say. Camden? Shocking. Corruption in Camden, oh my God. It's almost as if it's been corrupt for 100 years. Um, City of Camden and a major nonprofit group working on a revitalization effort has been hit with a flurry of subpoenas in recent weeks that what appears to be part of a corruption investigation into a lucrative development deals involving millions of in tax incentives. Uh, in case you don't remember, Camden was the city that was so corrupt, the mayor got indicted after after the first mob boss in history uh, turned state's evidence and testified against him <laughs> and threw him under the bus. So imagine that. Imagine you're like that corrupt that you're taking money from a mob boss and then he turns around and turns you in. That's pretty damn corrupt. And uh, that's Camden in a nutshell. New Jersey police, sophisticated crime groups, stole two high-end vehicles out of a closed home garage. Um, hmm. This is in Gloucester County. Well, that's not far. Manu uh, manual, uh, the Mantua Township Police Department says brazen crime has happened at a home on Breakneck Road at breakneck speed, I, I'd imagine. So, uh, keeping your vehicle safe. Well, I, uh, you know, keep the keys to your vehicle away from the vehicle. Yeah. Just because your car's in the garage, it still needs to be locked. Yep. I don't know why you wouldn't just lock your car just to be safe. So, especially if you got a high end vehicle. But then again, like, I don't understand people who buy a high end vehicle unless it's for safety. Then maybe. If you, if you need it, maybe you're worried about your kids starting to drive or something like that. But these people who buy these grandiose, you know, rides, I don't, I don't get it. It's like targeting yourself. It's like painting a target on yourself and say, hey, come rob me. I'm rich. What's the truth about wind projects and whale deaths? A rush to jump to conclusions. Yeah, I did too. But now according to Real Clear Wire... <clears throat> they uh, they say that the height of deaths for whales was 34 in number in 2017, and they weren't doing the project side. So what we are seeing may be some kind of coinkydink. So, uh, but I'm still against the wind farms. I don't think they'll... I think they're a big boondoggle. I think uh, 
I think the evidence is going to come out that Murphy's got his hand in the till and every other New Jersey politician involved. Um, but if this is how we can shut down this green initiative, I would shut it down because I don't think it's I don't think it's cost effective. I don't think the wind turbines are cost effective. Germany had to tear theirs down or a bunch of them. So I still don't think it's cost effective. So if the green if we can turn the greenies against the other greenies, then fine. I'm fine with it. But um, who knows if this one is even true, but it does sound true. Sounds like statistically, the amount of whales washing up are just being perhaps uh, pushed out there by certain elements in the media in order to turn the tide against the wind farms. I think it's part of the whole idea. I think Murphy wants to do to New Jersey what they tried to do in Texas, what they're doing in California. Oh, we've gone all green. Uh, we've gone all uh, electric wind now. you got to have elect electric, uh, you know. Your electric coming from the wind. Get, forget the nuclear power. Yeah, and then we'll have rolling blackouts. I, I'm not... That's why I'm against it, mainly. Large police SWAT presence at Galloway School planned by event. New Jersey SP, no incident reported. So if you were reporting that, oh my God, what's happening? It was uh, just a show for probably the kids there. Yeah, the school's. Five hurt and high speed head on crash in Egg Harbor Township. Well, at least they're alive. Jeez, head on on crash. Uh, this was a 2008 Mercedes driven by a 17 year old man from Egg Harbor. Uh, and a 2012 GMC Arcadia driven by a 46 year old. Gee, I wonder which one's at fault. Could be, could be the older guy. Unsafe, New Jersey shuts down Ocean City condos um, for being structurally unsound. Jeez, imagine you're living there and you got to leave because the th place could collapse. That must suck. Where the hell, what the hell do you do? <laughs> do you get your money back? Oh, you probably got to go to a lawyer. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. South Jersey man, 64, reported missing. Have you seen him? Mm, doesn't look familiar. Alonzo P. Mundy was last seen at Cheers Bar in Cumberland County last week. Hmm. It's been reported missing. Mundy's main method of transportation is a 26-inch black huffy bicycle. Why is that? He's a grown man. Hmm. Interesting. Straws and bags were first. Now the state might be coming for forks and mustard. Thanks a lot, Murphy. Can't have mustard. Can't have forks. Anything. Oh, these Democrats are ridiculous. Uh, if passed in the law, it would apply to takeout, delivery, drive through order, sports and entertainment venues. You, you won't be able to get napkin. It's just so bad. Food service businesses would be required to provide... Reusable, washable utensils for customers eating on site. Plastic straw ban, plastic bag ban. You have biodegradable plastics now. You have them. These people, they're, they're, they're obsessed with this. They're utterly obsessed. I'm completely against the green stuff now. I, I want to go back to styrofoam containers. Librarian sues when parents object to hypersexualized book. Uh, books, plural. Uh, the librarians suing the parents who complained about porn in the library, claiming they def defamed her. It kind of sounds like they may have. I don't know. Because uh, they claimed her legal action against the parents was she was labeled a child predator and was accused of luring children with porn. Listen. I'm against these books in the library, but you can't you can't cross that line and defame the librarians. I mean, I think they're all woke and crazy. That's just my personal opinion, but you, you don't don't get pulled into the Marxist trap of like being taunted into overreacting. Video breaks down every reason South Jersey is better than North. Oh, well, I don't need to know this list, but let's go through it anyway. 
Cheesesteaks, absolutely better. Traffic population, traffic and population congestion, yeah, it's lower. Have fewer people here. Cost of living, lower. Our beaches and boardwalks, better. Less populated. Wawa, of course, awesome. And that's that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's enough. Uh, why this year might reveal how bad the lanternflies really are in New Jersey. Uh-oh. Uh, they're due to hatch soon, the eggs. Uh-oh. Well, I'll say this. At least they don't bite you. Right? I mean, they're annoying. Um, and, and a lot of them will junk up your trees. But they seem to be happy to be stepped on. They don't move very quick. So, they're just annoying. So. Uh, here's how to identify a tree of heaven as well as uh, lantern fly egg masses. So here are the leaves. Yeah, I see a lot of these trees around. Look closely how the leaves grow. They're mostly in the woods. Tree of heaven, the bark. These are the egg masses. Gross. Oh my god. When the season changes, so does the appearance of the tree. Now see, those look like caterpillar bags cocoons I should say but yeah they're going to be everywhere again how is the air quality in South Jersey and what's being done to improve it South Jersey grapples with traffic industry and other challenges industry where's the industry uh, so what's being done to help everyone breathe a little easier I don't know probably a bunch of taxes and a bunch of green initiatives that won't do squat but it'll cost us a lot of money South Jersey Walgreens evacuates due to chemical fume issues that's not good where was this? Washington Township. Okay, so that's not far from me. Sorry, blowing up here. Um, hmm. Mixing ammonia and bleach can release deadly chlorine gas. Oh, is that what happened? Oh, it killed a Buffalo Wild Wings employee in Massachusetts in 2019. Well, I mean, is that what happened? Nobody really seems to know. Oh, no, it says a store employee did the same thing. Yeah, I guess you got to be careful. Um, do you legally have to roll your window down during a traffic stop in New Jersey? I'm going to say no. Uh, let's see. Uh... Official answer, yes. In New Jersey, drivers are legally required to roll down their windows when they're pulled over by a cop. This allows the officer to communicate. Well, it doesn't say how far. I mean, I would certainly put it down at least part way to give him my driver's license. And just to be polite, unless the, unless the guy was like super aggressive or it's like pouring rain. Um, so there's no exact specification how far you have to roll the wind down, but it must be partially down. I could see that so they can hear you. Um, there's no reason to be an a-hole to the cop. I mean, even if he's being an a-hole to you, it's not going to do you any good. Rangers beat New Jersey Devils 5-2 to two to force Game 7. Go Devils. I just root for you because you're called the New Jersey Devils. Uh, what you need to know about New Jersey's red flag gun law. Uh, it's unconstitutional, and it'll be overturned. That's what I think about it. How did the bad vote-by-mail ballots get to voters, and what's being done about it? Um, well, uh, I'm going to guess that uh, uh, it was done to get to, uh, say, more conservative peoples. And look, don't use vote-by-mail. Go to the damn voting booth. Don't be lazy. Vote in person. New Italian hot dog shop is coming to New Jersey Beach Town. All right. Ooh, the fries look good. 
what place is this? Jersey Lou's Italian style dogs and sausages will be the new addition to Seaside Park. I like the uh, I like the cut of their jib. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice place. I like the look. Uh, farmers in South Jersey break down the impact of heavy rain. Oh, I could break down to you. I was just talking about it. Um, uh, my dad, who who's a whiz at this stuff, uh, it, the the rain will. Uh, causing things to uh, it depends on when it rains it's raining at a bad time especially for strawberries that's that's going to ruin them um, but um, yeah it, it, you don't want too much rain especially when the uh, crops are ripening and they're ripening right now the strawberries are just being picked um, so yeah, the, the rains are, are, are kind of hurting it. Uh, but that being said, I just got some uh, uh, strawberry uh, custard at Royal Crown with strawberry topping, and it was fabulous. It's fabulous. So still plenty of strawberries out there. They'll just be a little off, I guess. Rutgers and faculty unions agree on a new contract language. Here's when a vote can happen, I guess. Eh, I guess. I guess they go back to uh, indoctrinating your kids now. Egg Harbor Township pitcher catching eye of MLB scouts. A lot of guys from South Jersey going to the big leagues. There's a, a football player in Vineland. They got this guy. I think there's a couple others. Uh, must be must be the clean living and all the water. Uh, local goat public house opens in Cross Key Road in June. Uh, so look for that. Looks like a nice place. Grill and public house. Hmm. Beautiful town might be the most underrated in New Jersey. Place your bets. Place your bets. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's got a brewery. Uh, ta several museums. It's got a Wellmont, the Wellmont Theater. Montclair? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why you'd say it's underrated. It's been built up for a lot of years. That's up north. Uh, it's very hipster. Very hipster. Tons of restaurants and bars and stuff. I mean, it's nice. It's a nice town. They have events there. I've been there a few times. D. Bartolo Bakery in Collingswood closing Saturday after 50 plus years. It has been sweet. Yeah, I didn't think these guys were doing well. Um... Certainly, the pandemic didn't do them any favors. Um, they had a makeover on one of those shows, one of those TV shows, and that seemed to help the look of the place, but the location, yeah, it, and uh, I don't know. It, uh, it just didn't seem to be doing well. I, I think the location in Collingswood... If they had turned it maybe into a coffee hip hipster coffee place, and sold their uh, you know snacks there, kinda that maybe that could have worked. But this is like a kind of an old timey place. This is like an old time bakery where you'd go in for cakes and stuff. But I don't think people do that enough anymore. I mean, I like to do it when I have the money, but yeah, it's a shame. They were good though. I think they were good. Uh, Turtle with. Exposed heart lives thanks to her human dad. Oh, that's sweet. Good for you. Saving little turtle. Aw. Poor little guy. He's got an exposed heart. That that could be very dangerous out in the wild. I don't know why your heart's out there. It must have been born that way. And then uh, this guy in Tom's River jumped into a lagoon to save a baby deer. That's sweet. Good for you, dude. Oh, here he is here. I guess he must have saw the deer fall in and, and went in. Good for you. Helping the animal bros. Primo Hoagies in Glassboro coming soon to Rowan Boulevard Complex. This is going to be a monster hit. Uh, this, I think, is near the college. I love me Primo's. Oh, Primo's is good. It's a local chain, but it's good. It's good. It's a little pricey these days, but still good. Bringing the Heat Annual Wing Fest returns to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Getting hungry. 
getting hungry watching this. Uh, the event happens again at family-owned Chelsea's Restaurant and Pub in Lebanon, New Jersey. Been voted the best wings in Hunterton County. That's that's up north. It's hard to find good wings down here. Uh, a couple of places. I like um, across the river at Mad for Mex and uh, U of Penn. Country superstar Walker Hayes records viral TikTok on Atlantic City streets. A weird place to do a country song, but okay. Ten things to do in Atlantic City when it rains. Uh, maybe this thing called gambling. Uh, go shopping at Tandra Outlets. No thanks. Visit Lucy the Elephant. Yeah, it's not Atlantic City, but sure. Go gambling. Yeah, no kidding. Catch a movie at the IMAX. Yeah. Eat. Yeah. Visit Atlantic City Experience. Uh, okay. Visit the Epsica Lighthouse. I guess if you're going to go all the way out there in the rain. Relax at a spa. Yeah. Casino stuff. <laughs> Visit the Atlantic City Aquarium. That sounds cool. And have fun at the new indoor water park, which they've been pushing every week. I see an article about this, but sure. Fine. Route 4276 jam ups. Blame I-76 overpass rebuild at Clam Ave. Uh, well, going to take a while. They'll get it done. Uh, we're dying for these 10 closed New Jersey restaurants to reopen. Okay, let's see. It's in Ocean County. P.J. Lee's Mongolian Barbecue. Yeah, it's hard to find a Mongolian barbecue down here, too. Denny's. Eh, Denny's was okay. I could take or leave it. Red Lion Inn. Um, didn't know they had a restaurant there. But uh, they still have the Red Lion Diner. Jake, Jackson Mike's Brickhouse Bar and Grill. I didn't know that one. Quaker Steak and Lube. Didn't know that one. The Cranberry Bar. Didn't know that one. That's a Manahawkin. The Southern House. Didn't know that one. Social 37 in Tom's River. Didn't know that. Chevy's Fresh Max. I like that name. But I didn't know that one. And Charlie Brown Steakhouse. That was okay. What was that like? That was like... I mean, it was like a, a, a local chain. It was, it was kind of like... Outback, but I, I liked it better than Outback. I kind of don't like Outback, but Charlie Brown's was okay. We, uh, it should be on this list is the Puffer Belly, the Puffer Belly restaurant. I love the Puffer Belly, but it, it closed. It's a Walgreens now. Summerdale Flying Fish Brewing to be acquired by Cape May Brewing. This is the first brewing merger I've heard, and I'm surprised. Flying Fish was one of the early ones. I'm surprised they weren't doing better. Um, so congrats to Cape May Brewing. Hope things work out. Uh, work has begun on a new tram car themed motel in North Wildwood. That's weird. The motel is, is, is the theme of the tram car. I, does it look like a giant tram car? Do you sleep in a tram car? And it's a motel. Uh, well, it's in a resort town, so I guess... I guess maybe it'll have like pictures of the tram car throughout the years in the lobby or something, and maybe in your room. I I guess. Monaco Indoor Karting in Berlin is now open. I haven't been there, but I know where it is. I drive by it all the time. Hmm. Good luck. New Jersey's twenty-five worst highways ranked by how much we hate them. All right, I ninety-five. Really. I-95. Do I hate I-95? I mean, it's a turnpike, right? I, I don't know. Route 37. Eh, it's a little... No Route, Route 73. Why we hated too many traffic lights. Hmm. It's not really a highway then, when you have that many traffic lights. But it is a thoroughfare. Route 4. Don't really ride that. Uh, 295. I love 295. 295 is great. There's rarely traffic on it unless you're unless you're at the height of an hour, uh, you know, rush hour. Route 17, don't really use it. Route 55, Indian Curse Road. Yeah, you know that story. If you don't, uh, they extended 55 from 42 to the Defrat Mall, and they built it through an Indian burial mound back in the mid-'80s, and they say it's cursed. It's very windy there. There's lots of accidents. So, yeah. It's cursed. 
I-80, meh. Route 18. I'm trying to think where some of these are. Route 3, I de that's definitely got to be north. Garden State Parkway. Yeah, I kind of hate the Garden State Parkway. There's too many tolls. Uh, I wish they would just, I don't know, put the tolls on the on the ramps. But they're getting rid of all these things. It's all going to be a barcode for your car. And you're just going to zip through and get a bill. Uh, Route 46. Eh. I-78. Meh. Route 440. Meh. Route 21. Lancashire Expressway. I don't know if I hate it, but I'm going to hate it when I have to pay the full ride and can't just go on and on. I'd rather just pay the damn toll rather than use an easy pass. I don't like the easy pass because I don't like that it keeps track of you. Um, but uh, it does jam up in the summer, but I know the back way. So 495, eh, 287, that's up north. Route 1, I do hate Route 1. Route 1 is often very busy. 280. It's up north, very busy. Route 9, it's not really a highway. Again, it's like, it's got too many, you know, it's an, it was the old highway, but it was the old Garden State Parkway many, many years ago. Route 139, eh, New Jersey Turnpike. Well, I mean, that's 95, but sure. I mean, it's pretty good for most of the run, at least down near me. Route uh, 19, uh, not sure which one this refers to. And Route 22. I guess. I don't know. Some of these are up north. Uh, play on brand pickleball. Play on brand new pickleball courts open in Galloway. Play on brand? That's the name? It's a weird name. But sure. People are obsessed with pickleball now. They love it. Uh, Nana's Pizza, A Taste of Italy in Deffert is now open. Looks fine. Um, yeah, maybe you'd sit down and have pizza there. I don't know. Coming soon, popular Mexican restaurant. to uh, Coming to uh, the Taqueria. Taqueria Mexican Street Kitchen. I don't know. Those tacos look pretty good, I gotta say. Mmm. I like me some tacos. There's only two, but they look pretty decent sized. So if you're only going to get two, like, see, these look a little smaller. They look good, too. What are they? Those are Brussels sprouts. Mm, I got to say, it still looks good. Um, they're going to open in Marlton. So sure, I would totally go there. I'm sure the tacos are like, you know, five bucks a piece or whatever, but I'd go there. Uh, Atlantic City's New Jersey's exciting new Cardinal restaurant is now open. Looks very fancy. Looks good, though. Uh, that looks good. That all looks good. Very fancy. Very fancy food that I probably can't afford. Uh, here's food that I can afford. Wawa Pizza. <laughs> I can afford that. Convenience Chain said it's coming during a milestone opening in Oak Lynn. Oh, this is going to be the Thousand Store. Okay. Cool. I don't know about pizza, though. Maybe. I mean, lower the bar kind of pizza? Maybe. Like, you're just dying for pizza? But I don't know. Pizza's dirt cheap in South Jersey. It's still pretty affordable. Unless you buy... I mean, somebody I know bought a high-end pizza the other day. It cost almost 20 bucks, and it wasn't that big, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe if you can make it dirt cheap, but I don't know. Green Thumb Garden Club of Summers Point holds citywide garden contest. Well, that's nice. Good luck, gardeners. Uh, best New Jersey restaurant for the most delicious and inexpensive lunch. Sign me up. Uh, who is this? Rated by Cheapism. Uh, Manco and Manco. Oh, I love Manco's. I, yeah, I mean, for Ocean City, it's pretty cheap. For the boardwalk, it's cheap. I mean, the, the pizza slices are so gigantic. But I didn't even think it was that. I mean, for a whole pizza there, but you get a gigantic pizza. So, South Jersey businessman gives Rowan $30 million to name state's first veterinary school. 
Just so you know, if you want to give me $30 million, you could name, uh, I don't know, the bookshelf back there. Uh, we'll talk if you, if you want to donate me a few mil. Um, South Jersey Grandma, a 10, wins a million dollars. Powerball Jackpot. I don't really play these games. Once in a while, I'll buy a ticket for fun. But uh, good, for, good for you, though. A lot, a lot of people I know buy them. Check out South Jersey's newest bagel. Very cheesy. This is a cheesy spinach bagel. Okay. I mean, seems pretty straightforward. Bagels and, you know, bagel, cheese, and spinach. <laughs> uh, probably put it in a toaster oven. 20 minutes of prep from beginning to end. That seems like a long time to make something that easy, but okay. I mean, I guess if you count, like, washing the... Washing and chopping the spinach up and mixing it with the cheese, so maybe. Uh, Epsican, New Jersey beer shop named among best in America. Wow. Cool. Uh, White Horse Wine and Spirits, located in Epsican. Hmm. Oh, that's not a picture of it. I guess this is. I don't know. I pro I've probably driven past it. Six New Jersey towns named as some of the safest small towns in America. Ooh. Let's see. Safest. I think mine would be one of it. Uh, is it on this list? No. Old Bridge, Fairlawn, Marlboro Township, Princeton. Princeton is pretty safe. Middletown and Monroe. I think Princeton's about as far south as we go there. Um, yeah, I should have went further south. I think my town would have would have won. Beer drinkers rejoice. New Jersey brewery name amongst best in the U.S. Place your bets. Uh, blah 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 blah. So he names a bunch of them. The best brewery in New Jersey, located in Merchantville. The little brewery features eighteen taps. And it is called Eclipse. I don't think I've been to Eclipse. No. That's cool. That's cool. Congrats to Merchantville. That's not far from me. Here's where to get the best sushi in New Jersey, according to experts. Oh, and I know this place. I already looked at it. I had to look at it immediately. And they did not say Kenko Sushi, but that's in Morris County. They said Sagami, which everyone says Sagami. So, I gotta get me over there. I haven't been there in years. Uh, but it's good. It's good. And finally, legendary South Jersey farm market, almost 100 years old. Uh, you're not gonna wait? <laughs> you're not gonna wait to say 100 years old? It was built in 1926. The Red Top. If you haven't been there, it's way out there. What is it on? 206, I think? I forget. Or 70. Yeah, it's on 70. I've been here a couple of times. It's nice. I didn't know it was that old. Uh, but good good on the red top. I mean, the, the sign is really cool. So the sign was definitely, you know, in the 50-year range. But to know that it was, uh, let's see, it was built in 1926, so 97. It's a pretty good run. So I hope you guys stay open. Uh, I worry about the roadside stands in South Jersey with all the development. There's just too much development here. Hopefully they back off on it. Stop building things. I think you should just rebuild the stuff we have. There's too many like empty buildings in South Jersey. You know, there are towns around here. They look they look dumpy and there's a bunch of just abandoned buildings. Just uh, they should be developed. Don't 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 tear down more trees is all I'm saying. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. And little Joan. That's the Piney Podcast, Piney. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back next week with more Piney stuff. Uh, check me out on my live stream. However, tonight at 7 p.m. We'll go live. Want to ask me any questions, even about Piney stuff. We, we talk about movies generally, but I'll talk about Piney stuff. I don't care. And uh, we'll see you at the live stream at 7.